Okay, so there's this thing going around. It's uh, apparently it's called the corny virus. Actually, no, no, no. Let me pull up my pull up my notes. I think it's called the coronavirus. Yeah, that's what it's called. Yeah. <sighs> um. So basically, I figured out what caused this corny virus thing. I know exactly what it's called, actually. It's because, okay, I'd have to go with a little bit of a backstory. Ten years ago, there was this group. They were called the the, the Tree Lickers. There's these kids that really loved trees and all vegetables and not even just that, but they, uh, what they hated the most was Mickey D, old, old McDonald. Because he had a farm, except it wasn't a, it was a farm where he raised animals just to be killed. Old McDonald had a farm, and it was a race for animals to be killed. Yeah, I didn't care. Personally, I love some McDonald's, so I like me some nuggets, so I'm fine with those farms. But them tree lickers, oh, those tree lickers didn't like them farms at all. So for many years, the tree lickers, aka the, uh, some people call them vegans, vegetarians. Though there, there was a, they were technically called tree lickers back in my day. They just sat down, and they were like, "Okay, how how are we gonna make people afraid of eating meat about in uh, of livestock?" Uh, and they were like, "Okay, so why don't we why don't we poison cows and then we kill the cows before they uh, before they can be eaten." And then the lead, everyone else is like, oh yeah, that's a great idea. But then the one man who had an IQ above like 17, he was there and he was like, wait a minute, we're trying to save animals here. We're not, we're not trying to kill them. And then everyone just like kind of froze for a minute and they were like, okay, that's, you're right, man. You're real smart. So basically, and then he was kind of just like, they were stunned. They didn't know what to do. Their plants had been foiled by one of their own. First thing they did was they all grabbed their um their rape their rape whistles and they all went right next to the man and they blew in his uh eardrums with the whistle really loud and they they ruined his life. He was actually a good man, he genuinely cared for the animals, you know, he didn't want them dying like that, but them them tree lickers they don't they don't they don't run like that. Get my drift. So basically he didn't know it. After that, they were like, okay, there's one last approach we can do. I know we all hate killing animals, but then one of them whispered, what about killing people? It was a really dramatic pause, and then all of them just like put their hands together shaking with like a creepy smile on their face. There's even that guy in the background, he was like, <laughs> That guy, he was the psychopath. Oh yeah, by the way, a couple of you might be wondering, well, Samuel, how'd you know about this? Were you one of them? And that dude, I was in disguise. In the back of the room, there was a plant sitting there, and I was inside the plant hiding. And yeah, that's that's how I found out about all this. And they were like, okay, what what are we going to do to kill the people? People that, that love the meat, everyone that loves meat, they gotta die because obviously animal lives are more important than human lives, these tree lickers said. And one of them was like, why don't we try something mysterious? Something so magnificent that they won't even be able to comprehend that we did it. I will admit this man, he was dangerous. That was the man I was fearful of. And then uh, he pulled out this vial bile or whatever you want to call it and he was like I guess you guys want to guess what's in here and then one of them was just like "Ooh, that must be that must be some freaking jello so that we can uh, make some jello later and that guy was immediately he just was just he was kicked out of the meeting he was just too stupid they only take people that have an IQ of uh, eight or above this guy this guy had an IQ of like three but yeah the tree lickers and he was like, this is the corny virus, a.k.a. the Corona virus, or whatever you want to call it. And then uh, he was like, why don't we, why don't we take this, and let's go to the cows, 
and instead of milking the cows let's do the old reversal and then we put the virus in every single cows in the world so that next time not every cow of course but some of them so this started out in china this random city that nobody had heard of except the people who lived there and they were like they started out with the cows there but then they started going to russia united states all these big countries they, they would do it to one cow and leave and whoever ate that one cow would fall f it would they would fate would not be in their hands they would die and uh after all that the tree lickers they, they were crazy they're like hex yeah bro we did everything nobody could do anything bro but then little did they know it had the opposite effect it's just like people were like okay uh oh there's all these kids out there who are really suicidal and they're just like okay boys let's kill all the let's go eat all the cows bro and they started eating even more and more meat and a lot of the fellow vegetarians aka tree lickers they did this as, as well goodness these kids are talking about something weird but i'm not, i'm gonna ignore them but uh yeah after that they got crazy they were they they were stunned Honestly, I was stunned too. I didn't expect that to happen. And yeah, but unfortunately, something even bigger happened after that. The news, they started talking about it, and the, veg the tree lickers, they were happy. They were like, heck yeah, brother, we got we got paid, sir, for eating meat. And then, what happened there, after that, it was a big thing. Everybody was scared. Nobody knows what was going to come. So, boys, I think... I figured out what to do. Everybody, you grab in the go to you go to upstairs, go in your attic, and you get all the baseball bats we can. We're gonna meet up, and uh, everybody, there's gonna be one meet up in each state. We're all gonna, I know, I just this plan is how to get rid of it all. Just so you know, we're all gonna meet up in one place, and we're gonna charge the farms. And because they po probably poisoned some of the cows there, we're all just gonna. Or freaking chickens. I don't know. They could be doing this to the chickens too. Poor, poor little guys. We're gonna put them out of their misery. We're gonna all charge with our baseball bats, and then we're gonna go in. We're just gonna. It's gonna be a genocide. It's the only way. Them, them tree lickers. They poison all the animals. We gotta. We gotta do. We gotta do. You get my drift? So yeah, basically, that's what we gotta do. Uh, some people might think it's a little inhumane, but it's gonna end up in our grocery store later. So what's? What does it matter? We'll, we'll get them before they uh, are eaten so nobody has to suffer. Well, uh, thanks for watching. And if you guys are taking, I'm a serious guy. If you're taking what I say seriously, I want to do meet up in each state.